You pull out your oil dipstick, and instead of clean oil, you see a creamy milkshake-like mess. Uh-oh! That's coolant mixing with oil. And it's a big problem. If ignored, your engine could be on the fast track to complete failure. But don't panic! In this video, I am going to uncover five common causes of coolant mix with oil and how you can fix it before it's too late. Stick around till end because I will also share a bonus tip that will help to permanently fix the coolant and oil mixing issue. Let's get started. First, let's discuss the function of coolant and engine oil. Coolant and oil are like two co-workers who should never mix. One keeps your engine cool, the other keeps it lubricated. But when they do mix, it means something is seriously wrong. Here are the most common reasons why coolant finds its way into your oil. Reason number one, blown head gasket. A blown head gasket is one of the most common culprits of coolant mixing with oil. The head gasket is a thin seal that sits between your engine block and cylinder head. Its function is to keep oil and coolant in their separate paths. But when it fails, all bets are off. Coolant starts leaking into the oil passages, turning your engine oil into a milky disaster. And here's the scary part. You might not even notice it at first. You'll see white smoke from the exhaust, overheating issues, or even sludge under your oil cap. The longer you ignore it, the worse it gets, leading to total engine failure. To fix it, you'll need to replace the head gasket. But fixing a blown head gasket isn't a quick patch job. It requires serious engine disassembly. If that sounds like a nightmare, a mechanic can do it, but expect a bill of at least $1,000 or more. Reason number two, cracked cylinder head. Now. If you thought a blown head gasket was bad, this one's even worse. A cracked engine block or cylinder head is like a death sentence for your engine. Overheating or sudden temperature changes can cause it to crack, allowing coolant to seep into the oil system. A cracked cylinder head can also lead to poor engine performance, rough idling, and overheating. If you notice coolant loss without any visible leaks, a cracked head might be the culprit. Pressure testing and dye testing can help pinpoint the problem. Reason number three, cracked or warped engine block. The engine block is the core of your engine, housing cylinders, pistons, and oil passages. If it cracks, coolant can leak into the oil, causing severe engine damage. Extreme overheating is a common cause, as excessive heat can weaken and deform the metal. Freezing conditions can also crack an engine block if coolant is not properly mixed with antifreeze. A cracked block can lead to coolant leaks, loss of compression, and engine misfires. Repairing it is extremely expensive, often requiring complete engine replacement. Regular maintenance, proper coolant levels, and avoiding overheating can help prevent this costly problem. Reason number four, faulty oil cooler. Many modern cars use an oil cooler to regulate engine oil temperature, preventing it from getting too hot under extreme conditions. If the internal seals of the cooler fail, coolant can mix with the oil, leading to contamination. A faulty oil cooler can also cause overheating and reduced oil pressure, which increases engine wear. Signs of oil cooler failure include milky oil, overheating, and visible leaks around the cooler. Replacing the oil cooler and flushing the oil system is necessary to prevent long-term damage. Regular maintenance and using high-quality oil can help prolong the life of the oil cooler and prevent failures. Reason number five, overheating. Overheating is one of the main causes of coolant mixing with oil, as excessive heat can warp engine components, causing gaskets to fail and cracks to form. Running the engine with low coolant levels, a failing water pump or a clogged radiator can all lead to overheating. When metal parts expand due to high temperatures, they can lose their seal, allowing coolant and oil to mix. To prevent overheating, regularly check coolant levels and engine oil. Ensure the radiator and thermostat are functioning properly and address any cooling system leaks immediately. So, you've found the leak and fixed the problem. Great. 
But your job isn't done yet. That milky sludge in your oil pan is toxic for your engine, and you need to flush it out completely. First, drain all the contaminated oil and replace the oil filter. Then, fill the engine with fresh oil and let it run for a few minutes. After that, drain it again and do a second oil change to make sure every last bit of that gunk is gone. And don't forget the coolant system. Flush out the contaminated coolant, refill with fresh antifreeze, and you're good to go. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more car-saving tips, and drop a comment below if you've ever dealt with this nightmare. I'll see you in the next one. Drive safe.